Section four of My Bible History Old Testament by Bishop Morrill. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Man's First Sin In Paradise, Adam and Eve had everything their hearts could desire. They felt neither pain nor want nor sorrow. To them God had promised immortality. As long as they were obedient, they would not die. But Satan, the prince of devils, was jealous. He resolved to tempt Adam and Eve to disobey God. For this, Satan made use of the serpent. One day, Eve was near the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The devil in the serpent asked her, Why has God commanded you that you should not eat of every tree of paradise? Eve answered, Of the fruit of the trees that are in paradise we do eat, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of paradise, God has commanded us that we should not eat and that we should not touch it, lest perhaps we die. But the devil, tempting Eve, said, No, you shall not die. God knows that in the day you eat of it, your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be like gods, knowing good and evil. Eve did not turn away from the tempter, as she should have done at once. She listened to him, and so was led into sin. She looked at the tree, and at the fruit. She thought that she would like to be as great as God. At last Eve wanted to eat the fruit, although she knew that God had forbidden it. She plucked the fruit and ate it. She gave some to Adam, and he also ate it. Adam and Eve knowingly and willfully disobeyed God. They committed sin. As soon as Adam and Eve had eaten, they felt how ugly their sin was. They were filled with shame and fear. They sewed together fig leaves and made themselves clothes to cover their nakedness. When Adam and Eve heard God walking in the garden, they ran to hide themselves among the trees. They foolishly thought that they could hide from him. By this sin our first parents lost the grace of God. Since then all their children have been born in the state of original sin, that is, without the grace of God. Original sin is washed away in the sacrament of baptism. End of section 4